Hey there, space enthusiasts! Today I'm diving into some groundbreaking findings about Pluto's largest moon, Charon, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. First up, it's all about Charon's composition. Astronomers have detected both carbon dioxide and hydrogen peroxide on this icy moon. This discovery gives us invaluable insights into the makeup and formation of these distant bodies at the edge of our solar system. Now Charon is quite unique. Unlike many other objects in the Kuiper Belt, it's not covered in volatile ices. This makes it a fantastic subject for studying the effects of sunlight and impacts over time. The presence of carbon dioxide aligns with what we expect from the protoplanetary disk where the Pluto system originated, but here's the kicker. The unexpected discovery of hydrogen peroxide. This suggests that Charon's water-ice-rich surface is being constantly altered by solar radiation, solar wind particles, and cosmic rays. In a nutshell, Charon is much more dynamic than we previously thought. Let's delve a bit deeper. The detection of carbon dioxide confirms earlier suspicions and fills in some critical gaps in our understanding of Charon's surface. Scientists believe that impact events have exposed this subsurface carbon dioxide, giving us a peek beneath its icy shell. But hydrogen peroxide? That was a real surprise. It's formed when water molecules break down under the bombardment of energetic particles, indicating an active and evolving surface. The James Webb Space Telescope is far from done with Charon. More observations are planned to uncover additional details about its composition and the mechanisms shaping its surface. These findings don't just help us understand Charon, but they also have broader implications for studying other icy objects in the outer solar system. So, stay tuned for more cosmic revelations. Until next time, keep looking up.